All right, gang. So uh, for those of you that have Tasty Trade, uh, you guys may or may not have been aware that they came out with a, uh, a new feature in the platform where it is easier to track the trades that you roll. Um, and it, it actually keeps track of things quite well. Now, I haven't fully dove into everything, but uh, based off testing it last night, every single one of my positions was accurate except for one. And that's just because it's been on longer than the filter for the order change. Otherwise, I'm sure that one would have been accurate as well. So where is this new feature that you ask? Okay. If you come over here to the pop outside, all right, there's a new tab called chains, between activity and alerts. And this will be where all of those plays are at. And now spy, I have not traded spy, so nothing is here. But if I were to show you one, for instance, okay, Apple, right? We've been in Apple for a little bit here. Okay, so this is what it would look like if you've been trading something. Now, and it tells you, you can kind of filter this a little bit between opened, closed, gain, losses. I usually make sure I have 60 days because a lot of the times some trades are longer than six or longer than the 30 days. So I'll go to 60. Now, as you can see here, there's quite a few. So I'm going to just take off this closed filter. I have one chain currently open right now. And if you look at it, let me open this one up too. Okay. You guys can follow along here. If you look at it, here's the original trade placed on Apple. Okay. On 9.2. Right. And I got $1.52 in credit. Now, is that accurate? Let me jump over to my journal. And um, it is. Okay, so I'll just kind of show you here, right here is, is Apple. Okay. And if you look at the very first one, there's my first line dollar 52. So that's accurate. Now you can look, it tells you, here's my roll for 90 cents. That's accurate. Another roll for 18 cents. That's right. And then another roll where I paid a dollar. That's right. And then the one more roll for five cents right there. So there it keeps track of everything. Now, if you look here under this area, total price or total P and L 27 bucks. That's based off the mark and the average price. So here, this average trade price is the total of all these added up, which it says is 165. And if I look, it is 165. Okay. So it keeps track of that. So now you can kind of look, well, it's marking at 133. My average trade price from these rolls. Oh, I'm sorry there. Here, let me uh just realize. Let me uh where's my unlock here? All right, I'll put it over here. Okay. So um with all my rolls, my average trade price is a dollar sixty-five, which based on my manual journaling is correct. It's marking at 139. So you can see we're up twenty-six dollars on the PL, so we're finally positive. All right. Give you another example um that we've rolled what do we roll what do we roll we've rolled, rolled riot so i bring up riot okay tells you i have an open position as well but uh uh where is it at so here is that strangle okay for 210 and then i rolled up those puts for 30 cents and then yesterday we did the other roll for another 20. So now it's telling me my average trade price is 260. And looking at Riot, uh, it's 260. Okay. So it's keeping track of everything here for you to know. And then now you can just, so instead of me, you know how I'll usually do our, our midday and end of day reviews, I no longer have to go over to my journal and, all right, what is everything trading at? Put in the price. I could just come over here, click on it. And then go right here to this chain and I can get a rough idea of where I am right now on the strangle play. We're currently down um, 40 cents, about, about 40 bucks. Okay. So 40 cents, not bad. All right. Um, June, I don't know. Uh, I guess Tasty had mentioned that you can get it back for a year's worth, but I can only find that 60 days right here. Now there may be another spot that you can get that information from. But right now, um, it only goes back 60 days, okay? Um, Joey, 
when, when you're looking at it like this, most likely your screen will look something like this. Right here at the top right corner, there's a little tiny arrow. And if you click it, it'll pop it out. Okay. And then, yeah, as for that journal, what Brandon said, it's pinned, I think, in the general room. So if you head over to the general room and open up pinned messages, it'll be there. But if you have TOS and Excel, I'm working on a much better journal. Another topic, though. Okay. So, uh, this is really accurate. Now, <clears throat> if you guys do multiple trading in different accounts, um, you'll have to filter it. And you would have to open up your, op, your, your accounts here and then select the account. So say you had a cash account and a, um, let's just say you have an IRA account. So you're still selling spreads in it and you have your regular margin account and you traded Apple in both of those accounts, it would show up in here. You, and if you just wanted to keep track of only one, you would need to filter it and you would just drop down your account tab and select on that account. And then it'll do that. Okay. But to just show you, so Riot was a roll, right? What else did we roll? Um, I'm trying to think here. Overstock. Okay. Here's our original play. And then we got our roll, our other roll, <clears throat> and now our average trade price is $1. sixty-two. So we're upside down on it. So this is a really nice feature, right? Netflix. Yeah, Netflix is another one. Okay. Here's our iron condor two part roll. There's our debit that we did yesterday. And there's our credit that we did yesterday. <clears throat> and now the new open position, <coughs> excuse me. And our average trade price, which is accurate dollar 68. It won't show up, Mandy. I already looked. It's over 60 days since um, I placed that trade. Look, <laughs> I, I trust me. That was the first thing I looked up. It's not on here. Okay. <laughs> if I click closed, it's it's on here, but it's not accurate. It only goes back to May 28th, actually. Holy crap. It did show it. So it looks like that might be accurate. Right, so it looks like it pulls back close trades further than 60 days, but not, not, op not open. I don't know, maybe. So I'll have to pull the journal up. I don't know if I got in on 528 or not. It says so, but here, yeah, look at all these rolls. <laughs> That's a lot of rolls. And now it's not right because um, the PL here says negative 40, but my journal, now I could have been wrong and missed a roll, uh, but I profited $50 on that trade. So I think. There's somewhere in here it's missing a roll or I messed up something. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back and double check and see if these are the right ones, but I may have missed it, right? So um, we'll check, but uh, it, it's pretty accurate here, gang, across the board. Um, Tesla, right? If I do the closed trades, you can see that, right? It, now let's see, where's the iron condor that we took? So here's the iron condor for original dollar 55. We rolled it 85 and 93. And then we rolled it again. And then we rolled it one more time. And then we closed it in PL from today or your something like that is, uh, you know, so it's really, really nice here. I like to filter this on open trades just so it's not messed up. So that's that part gang. That's how you can keep track of of your um your roles now there's a grouping feature as well okay <clears throat> and you can do grouping so if you look right up here at the top it says group by symbol that's currently how we do it i group by symbol and you know it tells us our p l but we've always been wanting to like well i need to group these and the only way to group right now was going onto the web browser and doing it that way but um, I want to do that on the platform. So you can see we got three different plays on Amazon, but no way to know how they are unless you either jump over to the web browser or jump over to your journal. Nice, cool little feature here now, gang. Right here, group by. Select order chains. I'm going to change the PL up a little bit here. Okay. Now, it doesn't look too much different. You know, I can still group it kind of by our PL. But if you look, we're going to go straight to Amazon. It grouped them now by the order chain. So now we have our vertical, our other vertical, and our iron condor. If you follow the line, 
Okay, we're up 41% on the vertical we put on yesterday. Oh no, day's open, I'm sorry, the other one. And then uh, this vertical from yesterday, we're up 10%, and our iron condor, we're up 9%, okay? And it tells you the mark where you're at, so you know, all right? Um, so now, if you wanna follow your trades, I no longer, again, have to jump over. We can just group by order chain. So if I show you another one, like Riot, right? We have a long call, and you can see, here's our strangle, and it tells you we've rolled it twice already as well. And then here's our long option right here, okay? Same thing, we go to uh, Neo, no, that's just a vertical. Um, NVIDIA, Iron Condor, we're up 47%. Our vertical, we're up, uh, we're down 20%, which, and that's that should be the accurate number here. Let me double check that, right? So mid price, 185 on that vertical. Yeah, that's accurate. 185 should be down 21%. There it is. Yeah, 21%. So good grouping feature. Now, that being said, don't rely on it if you guys trade stocks. Um, yeah, my capital one says that too. Look, <laughs> 12 rolls on this on the string. Here's another feature. Okay. This capital one play. See how it says strangle? but I only have that short put on, it takes what the original trade you had, okay? So originally, Capital One was a strangle, and I closed the call side, left the put side on, but because this is a strangle, it's originally, it tells you what it is. So if we look over here and go to Capital One, this is not accurate, but there's the original strangle entry and then all the rolls, and then you know I closed one of those, there's the closing of it, but I left the other way on. So it tells you what play you originally had and where you're at with it, okay? Um, now, if you're a stock trader as well, if you're dumping, if you're doing both, this order chain will not be accurate for, for your stocks. I'm gonna show you why, okay? If I add on the stocks here that are in my IRA, they are all negative. Okay, 100% down, it's not accurate. Yesterday when I pulled it up, all of my IRA, even though they're, every single one's up, they were all showing negative. Now if I change this to symbol, and then we look at the stocks, they're all accurate, okay, they're all green. So if you trade stocks, make sure you group by symbol if you wanna just check your play out, but then if you're mainly doing spreads and options like we are, group it by order chain, okay? Um, let me pause this video. Okay, so um, now, rewind. Uh, okay, what I wanted to say next was, now if you're sorting this by order chain, like all right, great, we're, we're sorting it so we can keep track of our, our items here, right? Here's our iron condors. If you wanted to close a trade, like uh, put in your percent, like you just entered one, uh, Microsoft, I'll use that as a better example because I don't have it on. So here, we just put Microsoft on today. Now, if I wanted to get my 30% order in, you can't do it on order chain, okay? Now watch, I click it and hit close. The close option becomes available, so I can just close it, but it doesn't let me do it for a percent, okay? So um, you have to go back to symbol. Now you can do it and do your close for whatever, okay? So I don't know if Tasty will maybe fix that in the future because that's kind of annoying. But, um, you know, just make it a habit. All right, I got in this trade. I'm going to go ahead and set my 30% order in. Do my good till date. I'm going to round it down to a dollar. And I'm going to select my seven-day period. Hit review and send. And then go back to my positions and go back to order chains. And now I'm good to go. So. Um, that's the only downfall that I've seen so far, but I mean really guys it's two clicks and you're good to go So not a big deal there All right now one thing I did notice that we figured out last night um, Is not accurate if you have this trade price column on Right here. This is not accurate to your current play All right, the mark is but the trade price is not um so you would have to go here 
to get your average trade price. They don't have that option for a column to bring in. All right. Uh, so you can see like if I bring up Capital One, again, my average trade price is $1.94. Yeah, it's telling me 236. So do not use the trade price um, if you've rolled plays, but it's accurate for non-rolled plays. Um, you know, LM and D, I got in for a buck 65. But knowing that if you've rolled something, it's not gonna be accurate. That's the only downfall if you like to keep track of your trade price on your screen. Okay. Other than that, gang, it's a pretty cool feature. I like it. Um, it's gonna help us out a lot, really quick and easy to get through and see now where we are. You know, like Riot, it's easy to kind of look and go, all right, we're up 4% on this strangle right now. So that's with the roll. So we're good. It's gonna make things a lot easier here um, when we go through all these. Okay, and Amazon, now it's just a quick look. Where are we at? Really good here, really good here, and really good here. Okay, so, boom. <laughs> I might, Brandon, I might just ask him. All right, gang, so I'm gonna go ahead and stop this video. Uh, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments below or ask in chat.